So today I just want to demo what I think is a really cool uh, home screen launcher for Android. And this is Square Home Launcher, which you might recognize sort of the overall look of it. It kind of resembles the Windows Phone uh, launcher that was on Windows Phone. But it's really, really cool. Um, you can see some of the features right now. There's a, I have a notification from this app and you can see it switches back and forth actually showing what the notification is on this tile. Um, and, and Square Home Launcher just uses tiles. You can see there's all these tiles. Uh, you don't really, you can have a background and you can have some of these be empty and have a background if you want to. But what I like is just a solid look like you see I have with all these different tiles. Easy access for everything I want right on my home screen. Uh, you can see again, I have got email right there and then messenger messages right in the dead center here. You can see you can have different sizes. So like this one takes up uh, half of that square and this one over here, which is the applications, built-in applications for the home launcher. Uh, uh, it takes up half. This one takes up a lower half. And you can see they're kind of, you can offset them. This one is a built-in uh, to the home screen launcher, one of their built-in ones that just goes through the different uh, photographs you have in your gallery. So I love that because you can see photographs that you've taken over time, you can see. This is a widget, so you can put widgets on there, and they just fit into the tile. And this is a notes widget, so I can, and it's scrollable, so I can just scroll through the widget. Um, this is also a widget. This is from uh, OneWeather, I believe, and so uh, this is that widget. This is a built-in uh, uh, calendar itinerary, so this is just looking at my, uh, at my itinerary, and if I tap that, I have it actually built to, if I tap it, because you can put different actions to things. If I tap it, it actually triggers a uh, uh, another tasker thing that shows these two uh, screens for my calendar, which is kind of cool. This is the built-in clock uh, for the home launcher. You could use another widget if you wanted to, but this is the built-in one. And uh, you can see that by default, it takes you right into your clock app to set your alarm. And then you can see there's like, this panel has four things on it. If I click it, it just drops down and these are easily selectable. So that's one option you have is you can have, and you can have more than that. So this one, I made this one bigger. So you see it's not exactly a square, it's a rectangle with a bunch of different things. And if I tap it, then it drops down and I can launch any one of these now. If I tap that again, then it goes away. The other thing that's kind of cool is you can have scrollable tiles. So this tile, if I scroll, you can see, can scroll to different things and you can also scroll up and down it's like a cube you basically turn it into a cube now all of them aren't like that this one isn't a cube but this one is a cube so I've got different things on there that you can go through um, this one is a cube different things uh, this one is a cube these are like smart home things and so I have the ones I use the most I have here uh, on the horizontal plane but if I go vertically now I look, I have a, a grid, and if I tap that grid, that opens up. These are all my different smart home apps. So you can, you know, create a cube, and then on one of the uh, sides of the cube, you can have a grid. Um, this is a built-in uh, thing for um, Tile Launcher, and just launches into settings, but it's showing you a uh, percentage. I think that's a battery percentage. I honestly can't even remember right this second what that is. But uh, even though I put it there. Um, but yeah, this is kind of, I mean, that's kind of it. These are my music and audiobooks. If I tap that, that one's just a drop down. So it drops down and I can launch any one of those. You can see uh, I have different uh, notifications. Um, also, it's kind of cool. You can have swipe gestures built into here. So if I swipe down, it drops down my notification screen, which is cool. If I swipe up, then it goes right into Sesame Search. So I have Sesame Search, which is the most awesome uh, search uh, app for Android. And it's I have it in here. And so by swiping up on my home screen, it immediately just takes me right into Sesame Search. Also have a, another uh, quick action, which is a double tap. And if I double tap on here, then the double tap takes me into Recents. So then I have my, my Recents currently running apps as well as a few other recents that you can launch basically the same thing as the um, 
recent uh, gesture for your uh, actions. But uh, yeah, that's kind of cool that you can launch that. So let's just look at a couple of settings. Um, if you click this, now if I, if I uh, click behavior in UI, you'll see uh, you can have tablet mode, screen orientation, infinite scroll, one-handed mode, 3D effect. There's a lot of different things and I don't want to spend a lot of time going through all these. I, I just want to quickly let you see. Just so you can have a wallpaper. You see you can have system wallpaper, background color. You can choose the hide in the navigation bar. Um, you can have passwords, hidden apps lock, menu lock, all these different things. Uh, live tiles, so you can choose to have notifications on the tiles and you saw how I did have that and you can control how you want this to work. Media controller, um, aggressive animation, uh, tile size and style. You can choose different things about the style. You can also have dividers. I don't have any dividers on my screen, but if you wanted to divide your screen, you can have a divider in there and you can add dividers and you can decide how you want the dividers to look. Um, tile effect and the foreground effect. Uh, tile style, you can choose different colors that you want to use amongst the tiles. So if you only wanted to use like one or two different colors, then you could set the different co those two colors or three colors and then always pick tiles within those colors, which is great. Um, icon style, so you can choose the different icon styles uh, that are going to be on there. Uh, app drawer, you can sort of, you saw the app drawer uh, from the home screen and you can stylize that app drawer to your liking. Uh, contacts, you can choose how you want contacts to be. Uh, keys and gestures, so there's different uh, gestures that you can use such as the double tap as you saw or the swipe down, swipe down, swipe up, launch S you see for me it's the launch sesame. Um, all these, you can have a pinch in and a pinch out, so lots of different uh, things and then you can back up uh, your settings so if you screw something up you can always go back uh, very customizable um, so if I long press on this uh, that's that's a cool thing too if you long press on an app then it gives you that apps shortcuts the new Android shortcuts things that are built in there so you saw that um, also if you go into editing so let's see if I click this then this is where you can uh, change the system settings or you can go edit on so now you see I could add tiles if I wanted to add tiles. I want my tiles to just be the size of the home screen, so I wouldn't add anything. But now that it's in edit mode, if I uh, long press this, then you'll see there's these different edit options. So if I click the settings, now I can set a tap action specifically for that, a long click action. I can change the style, so I could change the color, or I can make the image be full. Um, or I could change launch, launch options or, or customize the icon or change the label if I wanted the label or extra options. You can change different extra options. So all those different things where I could delete this. Um, yeah, there's so many different things that you can do to customize this. You can change so you could individually go through and pick the background colors for each one of these if you wanted to and change them, make them what you want to be. Um, just fully customizable. So just a really really cool uh, home screen launcher uh, again it's called square home launcher and uh, i love it i think it's great i've been going sort of back and forth between this one and the uh, niagara launcher um, two very very different uh, launchers and different concepts for launchers but uh, both equally cool to me and both uh, work really really well um, so anyway that's it that's how uh, square home launcher works that's what it looks like and uh, it's available, of course, on the Google Play Store. I'll have a link down in the description below uh, if you want to check it out for yourself. And that's it for this uh, Android app review. Uh, if you like this review, please hit that like button. You can share it with uh, your friends and family, etc., etc., using the share button if you want. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to keep up with all my videos. Favorite this playlist if you just want to keep up with Android app reviews. I don't do a lot of them these days, but... Uh, uh, when I find something really cool like this, I will. So if you want to keep up with those, you can do that. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it until next time. So have fun with your Android phone.